Next, we have to find the gravitational field due to a uniform solid sphere. This solid sphere has the continuous mass distribution in which mass is distributed over its volume. So, using the method of differential integration, we divide this solid sphere into the number of the elementary shells and we'll find the gravitational field due to the elementary shell and then integrate to calculate the final gravitational field because of the whole sphere. Here we will consider the two cases when point is lying outside or at the surface of the sphere or point lying inside. So first we take the case when point is lying outside the sphere. That means this is the case when R is greater than or equal to A. A is the radius of sphere. So this is the radius of sphere A and O is the center of sphere. This is the sphere which has mass M. And in this we have taken an elementary shell of radius X shown here and the thickness of this elementary shell is dx. This is the dx. So first we have to find the gravitational field due to this elementary shell. We have already derived in previous lectures that for a spherical shell gravitational field is gm by r square if r is greater than or equal to a and it is equal to 0 if r is less than a. This we have already derived. We can write the elementary field because of the elementary shell is g dm by r square where we can find dm as total mass of the solid sphere is m its volume is 4 by 3 pi a cube and then multiply this is the mass density and we multiply this mass density with the volume of the elementary shell it will be 4 pi x square this will be the surface area into dx this is the width so 4 pi x square dx it will give the volume of the spherical shell we simplify it 4 pi will be cancelled out and remaining will be 3m by a cube into x square dx. Now we find the total gravitational field. So integrate it and on integration we put the value of d here 3m by a cube into x square dx. Here x is a variable and it will be integrated from 0 to a. We have to take whole solid sphere. So we start from the center that is it refers the x equal to 0 and we will go to the outermost surface that is the x equal to a. So limit of integration is 0 to a. We integrate it. First we take constant out. It is g by x r square 3m by a cube and remaining is x square dx and limit of integration is 0 to a. So it will give 3gm by r square a cube into integration of x square is x cube by 3 and we put the limit here x equal to 0 to a and simplify it. It is 3gm by r square into a cube. First put upper limit it will be a cube by 3 and then lower limit with minus sign. So we get finally 3gm by r square into a cube into a cube by 3. Common term will be cancelled out. So final result is e equal to g m by r square. It is the gravitational field due to a solid sphere at a point r is greater than or equal to a. If r equal to a that is at surface we can write e equal to g m by a square. So this is the gravitational field at a point which is laying outside the solid sphere. Now we take the next case in which point is laying inside the solid sphere. Here point P is laying at a distance R from the center of the sphere. So this distance OP is R. 
this case is solved in two parts in first part we will take the solid sphere which is passing through the point p and centered at o so this solid sphere has the radius r and solid sphere case in which point is laying either outside or on the surface we have already done in this lecture this is the result at the outside point it is gm by r square and on the, at on the surface it is gm by a square so similarly here for this solid sphere which has the radius r and has the mass distribution similar to the solved here we can write gravitational field at point p is gm dash this m dash is the mass of this portion which we are shaded here by and radius of this is r so it is r square now we have to find the m dash we can find m dash as m dash is total mass of the given solid sphere is m and its volume is 4 by 3 pi a cube and now we have to find the volume of this sphere under consideration which has the radius r so its volume will be 4 by 3 pi r cube and we simplify this 4 by 3 4 by 3 pi 4 by 3 pi will cancel out it will be g by r square into r cube by a cube so we get e1 equal to g m is there also gm by a cube into r this is the first result for the portion which is laying inside the point p now take the second case the remaining portion is which lie between radius r to a point p is laying here that means now point p is inside the spherical shell if we take any of the shell in this region this point p will be inside that shell for example if we draw a shell this is one of the shell of thickness c dx at a distance x that means now r is r is the distance of the point p from the center this now the r is less than x there is a radius of the shell for this case we have already proved that gravitational field is 0 for r less than a that means if we take an elementary shell which radius is more than the radius or the distance of the point p from the center in that case this gravitational field will be zero so all such cases in all such cases of the elementary shells we will get the elementary fields will be zero and when we sum of these fields we will get overall zero that means this case is the two portion in first part the point is at the surface of the inner sphere due to which we get the gravitational field e1 and in other case, other part of this problem point is inside the spherical cells where field is zero and now we can add these two fields as e equal to e1 plus e2 and e1 is gm by a cube into r plus e2 is 0 so finally is gm by a cube into r therefore we can summarize our result that for a solid sphere in which mass is distributed over its volume gravitational field er is equal to gm by r square if r is greater than a a is the radius of this sphere and point p is say outside this is the outside point at outside point this is r greater than a and it is equal to gm by 
a cube into r if r is less than a that is point is lying inside the sphere and it is equal to gm by a square if r equal to a that is on the surface if we draw the graph of gravitational field with distance this is the radius of the sphere then there is some maximum value that is gm by a square at a so r for r less than a this is the portion where r is less than a and this is the portion where r is greater than a for r less than a this term is constant so we get here that er is proportional to r that means it is a straight line slope is gm by a q when we can draw this as in this way from zero r for r less than a it is a straight line a straight inclined line and after that when r is greater than a here er is proportional to 1 by r square and graph will be like this